fans, how are you today? Hello, it is Melissa from the Top Drawer RVA. Welcome, welcome to my home. How's everybody doing today? So, if you have been following Dixie Belle, you know that Dixie Belle is doing a fun new promo for this month. So there's a, a fun new thing going on with Dixie Belle. They want to kind of spotlight painting around the house. Painting around the house and having some fun with Dixie Belle paint. So today and this week, we are doing entryways, mudroom, porches, hangers, places where you take your shoes off, all those fun things. And for me today, I am gonna paint outside at the side of my house and we're gonna paint my door. <laughs> what do you say? Should be kind of fun, right? So it's fall, y'all, it's fall. I'm feeling very fallish. I have my moccasins on and I'm feeling like fall colors. So we're gonna change it up. We're gonna switch to the store because I want to paint around the house with Dixie Belle. So, I have a couple colors here, and I've kind of narrowed it down, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how it goes. So, this door is currently like a, a blue color. It's like a dark navy. My house is gray, and you can't see the side door from the front. So, this makes me think that I'm probably going to be painting my door all the darn time. Why shouldn't we paint the door with, with the seasons? Why not? I have mums on the floor. I've got a new buffalo check doormat. I just hung a fall wreath and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So we're gonna paint outside today, which means you're gonna see kids and dogs and birds and something chaotic might happen, but you know what? It's real life, people. This is real life. We're gonna do this, all right? So let's talk about colors. What should we do today? I'm gonna tell you that aubergine was on my list. Aubergine was on my list for the door, but I have nixed it. I've decided not to do aubergine, even though it's a kind of like a deep, fun fall color because it's too close to what I have on here already. And I don't want to be bored. I don't want to look at the same thing. I want to change it up all the time. So I'm going to put the aubergine on the ground. And I'm going to show you the other two colors. Rusty Nail and Muscadine Wine. You're not going to get any more fall than Muscadine Wine, right? Like, I feel like this, and hello, it matches my outfit and my lipstick. <laughs> this is the way to go today. So I actually painted a small section of this door with my Rusty Nail up here. Can you see this? I'm going to tilt this up so you can see, okay? So here you go. Yesterday, I cleaned this door really well. I cleaned it, I sprayed it with my hose, I got all the creepy spider webs off, and I like prepared it for paint. It is a metal door, okay? It's metal, which means that I was wondering if I would need slick stick. But I actually sanded the door a little bit because it had been painted many, many times before I moved to this home. Um, and it's not in the best condition, but it'll do for now. Eventually, I'll get a new door, and I'll probably paint that too. But I thought I'll sand it and scuff it up a bit, giving it something to grab onto. So I painted this small section up here in rusty nails. See this little section up here? I did one coat and I let it dry. And I thought, I'm gonna give it the scratch test. So today, I came out here. I'm scratching it, I'm marking it. I'm trying to get this paint off. With one coat of rusty nail, it's not coming off. So that tells me two even coats of Dixie Belle paint projects, products, and some gator hide is gonna make it stay forever. I think it'll be just fine, right? We're gonna have a lot of fun. What do you think? So, no slick stick, just clean with white lightning and given a scuff sand because there were some flaky pieces that I don't want coming off and we're gonna to paint today. So this is my initial color. Rusty nail is what I picked first and my daughter thinks I'm nuts. She said that this is not a good color for a door. I don't know. I think it is, but I'm gonna to listen to her and we're gonna do muscadine wine, all right? So, this week, if you paint a project at home and it's about your entryway or your front door or your porch or you make a great fall sign, let Dixie Belle know and they are going to be featuring all the things around the house for the next week. And then next week it goes to something else, bedrooms, bathrooms, etc., etc. All right, you ready? Let's begin. I have a short, tiny space on the side porch to work. I'm trying to make the camera angle work the best that I can and we're gonna figure it out as we go along. Also, this is my house, y'all. I have kids, I have dogs, and they're probably gonna open and peek out the door. So I might as well let them say hello right now. Well, we have you here. Stella Luna, come here. We have some puppy love here too, okay? So I have two dogs. Don't be surprised if I open the door, they decide to bust out. They won't run away, I promise. They're good girls. They're really good dogs. So they may join me on my painting journey today. All right, all right, away you go. Ladies, back inside. Away you go. Shut the door. You cannot come. <laughs> this should be interesting. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. 
All right, so clean door, white lightning, and scuff sand. Let's take off my little fall wreath so I don't mess anything up, and we'll get started, all right? So on the floor, I have a couple brushes um, and some wet wipes, just in case I need them. But I'm thinking I'm gonna need two full coats of this to cover this dark navy. So let's see what we can do with some Dixie Bell and jazz up my entryway, all right? And then once it's all done and it looks super beautiful, I'll take tons of pictures and let you know. And I wanna see yours too. If you've painted your entryway or painted your door with Dixie Bell, do you change it with the seasons? Do you change your doors and your colors? I feel it's kinda of like it should happen, right? Because it's fall. I changed my floor mat, I changed my plants. Why shouldn't I change my door color? <laughs> So we'll see how it goes. So today, I might not finish this right now with you live on the Dixie Bell paint page, but I will be doing two full coats of Muscadine wine, and then I'm gonna seal it with Gator Hide, just to prevent any water from getting on there. It is outside, it's my door, it's outside. So Gator Hide is Dixie's Bell's most strongest water repellent top coat. Ooh, I love it already, look at the color. Isn't that nice? So nice. So fallish. What have you done for fall? Have you guys done anything? Made any wreaths? Changed out your plants? I've changed out mine. You want to see what I got going on over here? I put some cute little mums and a little watering can. So adorable, right? Like I, I feel like every time my husband goes to work and comes home, there's more things on the porch. But that's okay. It's what makes me happy. <laughs> Decorating all the things. So we're gonna get down here. I know there's rules to painting doors, but y'all know I don't follow the rules. I think you're supposed to do these little interior sections first, and then after, come back with a roller. I'm just gonna use my flat medium brush and see what happens. The coverage is actually really good. I might not need two full coats. You never know. It's going on like butter. And I also have to yell because my mic won't reach this far. <laughs> So if I miss any questions or I don't see what's happening, let me know in the comments below and I'll come back and answer them after I'm finished. And I know Dixie Bell is on there with me too, so they can answer questions as well. What do we think? Is it a good color? Does it feel like fall to you? It feels like fall. Feels like fall to me. You guys, I think that I might actually be able to do this whole entire door with one coat. This is going on really, really easily. You can use Dixie Bell on a ton of things. You guys can paint your countertops. You can paint your bathroom cupboards. You can paint your planters. I don't think there's a single thing in my house that I haven't painted with Dixie Bell. <laughs> So this flat medium brush is kind of great because it cuts right in to the edge. This is kind of why it's my favorite brush to use because you don't have to worry. This nice flat edge really gets in there and cuts in close. I do have a smaller brush here on the floor in case I needed to get in closer, but this might do the job. So don't forget to tag Dixie Bell on all your around the house projects because they might feature you on their page and I totally just dropped paint on the floor so let's clean that before I make a giant mess and my husband comes home and yells at me <laughs> I'm, I'm forever making a giant mess I sit in paint I paint on the walls everywhere it's everywhere let's just wipe that up shall we my brush was wet and it held some extra water in there. And when I pushed the sides, it just kind of came out. Let's take a little bit of that out. All right, back to business. I really do think I'm just gonna be able to get away with one coat. This is looking super rich and super vibrant and it's covering really well. What would I put on top if you painted your countertops? I've seen a lot of people painting countertops and using Gator Hide. I've seen people use epoxy kits to seal the stuff in. I have not painted my countertops. I've painted 
all of my base cupboards in my house and I actually want to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to change it, of course, paint it again. And I sealed them with clear coat. But if I was doing it now, I would use Gator Hide. What do we think? Is that a good color? Is it looking fallish to you? I like it. Maybe I'll paint my front door too. Maybe I'll get out some wood you bend and paint my front door. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I've never done a live outside before. It's kind of, uh, kind of refreshing. I might look like a bit of a wacko to my neighbors, but you know. open this door a little bit and we're going to tilt the camera down and we're going to paint the base and this is where the puppies you're right this is good for christmas too i'm just going to change the ribbon then maybe on my wreath maybe put some christmas things on there let's come down here and see what happens can you still see me barely going on well. I'm not worried at all. I might add a second coat, but I'm really thinking that it's probably not going to need it. It's a gorgeous day here today, so painting outside is kind of refreshing. Besides the fact that I'm going to have to leave the door open until it dries, right? color also because of the mums that are behind me <laughs> because I'm a nerd like that and I want everything to match it um, the mums behind me are like a rusty nail which is why I wanted to paint my door rusty nail when they bloom it's gonna look so good but I'll definitely wait till this is dry and seal it with gator hide flat medium to cut in the corners and cover everything that I need to. So good. I think my next around the house project is going to be my mantle, my fireplace mantle. It's gray and I want to switch it up to something lighter. I want lighter and brighter. I feel like everybody's changing their house. Everybody's home right now, doing more projects at home, painting at home. More paint. See, if I was a proper painter, I would tape off the edges. I don't roll like that. <laughs> I'm more of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of a girl. I'm not a big fan of uh, taping off things. I'd rather just clean my messes as I go along. How good is that looking? That's looking so good, right? So if you missed the beginning of this video, I didn't prep with anything other than white lightning and a light sand. I feel like my testing spot up in the corner when I tested it held up so well that I wasn't worried about how it's going to stick. I feel like it's going to be pretty indestructible once I put that gator hide on. Still see? <laughs> we can still see. This is the weirdest angle ever. It's 
so good. I'm super happy I picked this color. I think the rusty nail would have been just a bit too orange. And change the angle. How we doing? We're still hanging in? It does look rich, doesn't it? It looks super good. And how fast is this? This is going super fast because this paint has such good coverage that I think one coat might be it. I might be able to get away with one coat. Let's turn this so we don't lose it. It is muscadine wine. Muscadine wine. So I took the time when I first moved to this house to paint all my interior doors black. They were all white. Actually, they were cream, which was not my jam. So I painted all the trim, and then I thought, I'll paint my interior doors black for a kind of like a, a rich, a super rich looking feeling to the inside of the house. And it was the best decision. If you guys have any thoughts about painting your interior doors black, do it. It looks so good. It looks very rich and very upscale I only did the interior doors that go outside so I didn't paint the interior doors like say in between my dining room and my kitchen I just did the ones that go to the outer kind of outside decks or the front doors but they look so good they looked amazing I might have to put my paint down get up here nice and tall good thing I'm tall most people would need a ladder, but not me. A little bit of a giant. The other handy dandy tip of the day is, did you know that there's screws on the inside of this paneling? Um, when we purchased this home, this was kind of yellowed and old, and I was not a fan. So I unscrewed it from the interior and popped out this whole piece, took it off, and spray painted the white onto these little panels to freshen it and make it look new again i think it's important to reduce reuse and recycle and use the things you have and by doing those little things in your home you can make it look amazing without spending a lot of money you know do your research check your youtube dixie bell has an amazing youtube channel with tons of information on there you're always going to learn something new they're always posting new videos and you can learn a lot furniture people you can paint everything <laughs> and if you come to my house I would show you I really think that I'm gonna be able to get away with one coat of paint I'm super surprised at the coverage so far all right I have to shut this put this down and open the door to get in the crack Everybody gonna go paint their doors today? I want to see. Tag me. I want to see you paint your doors. I think I'm gonna start a new trend. Board at home. Paint your door. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get in this little corner. I might have to open the door a little bit more, y'all. There's those puppies I told you about. They're gonna come watch. Oh, Stella. You gonna watch me paint? Nothing like a little puppy love when you're painting, right? Okay, so now this door has one even coat of muscadine wine. All right, it's on top of a previously painted color, which was navy. It's drying. What I'm going to have to evaluate is when it dries 100%, if I'm going to add another coat of muscadine wine. But from what I can see over here where it's drying already, the color, the vibrancy is really, really bright and I'm not seeing any of the blue showing through that I had on the base so if that happens to be the case if I can get away with one coat of muscadine wine on this door 
I might be lucky. I can gator hide it and get it back to working condition tonight <laughs> before the husband gets home. He might not even notice. He probably won't even notice. So let's pretend that this has been gator hide and it's looking super beautiful. And let's put my wreath back up because I want to see what it looks like because I'm totally extra like that. So this little wreath is going to hang up here. Looks so good. Look, so good, right? So I've got the fall colors in here. I've got my muscadine wine door. I've got my mums over here on the edge. I am so happy with how fast that was. So now I've got my mums down here, my little watering can. I've got actually a little fall mat. I don't think you can see. I can't tilt you any further because I legit tape my tripod to my new post. <laughs> but it looks so good and that was so fast. What do you guys think? I think that everybody should go outside because it's a gorgeous day and paint their door. And I want to see. So tag me in it so I can see you paint your door, whether it be your side door or your front door. And remember that for the rest of this week, Dixie Belle is featuring Around the House Painting with Dixie Belle. They want to see what you can paint around the house. They want to see your entryway, your mudroom, your porch. You know, Dixie Belle is not just for furniture. It's for all your home decor needs. You can do anything, anything with it. No joke painting your door in like 20 minutes or less <laughs> and I want to see so if you tag me tag Dixie Bell let them know that you're painting something around the house they might feature you on their Facebook page and then everybody can see what you're doing because it's a lot of fun and it's so much fun so once this dries I will be using my gator hide and I have it right here on the floor okay I will be applying it probably with my brush because I want to put it on a little bit thicker. If I use my sponge, it would be a little bit thinner, but I want a good heavy duty coverage. And I feel like this is gonna protect it. It is def definitely Dixie Belle's strongest top coat, okay? It repels water and it's going to be the toughest thing to protect my door from the elements. Cause even though I have like a little awning above here, a little black awning, this will still get weathered and rain and spiders creepy things outside so I want to protect it with my gator hide does anybody have any questions about Dixie Belle did I miss anything nothing well then I think that that might be it for me today I had a lot of fun painting my door today beautiful gorgeous muscadine wine hanging out with me at my house Richmond Virginia my name is Melissa I am the owner and artist at the top drawer RVA and I am Dixie Belle's newest brand ambassador so I want to see your fall your fall projects I want to see your around the house projects and I want you to tag Dixie Bell, and they want to see it too. Don't forget, if you tag them, you can get featured on the Dixie Bell paint page. So that's it for me today. If you wanted to try any of these products or find your own local retailer, I did put a little linkity link above my head. You can click on that. You can find your muscadine wine, and you can find your gator hide. And as of yesterday, they still had, I think the mini brush in stock. So run, don't walk. And order your brushes because they're currently being sold out very much they've been they've been sold out quite often so that is it for me i have a little puppy coming to the door i'll give you one more glimpse of my life <laughs> here in richmond virginia dogs kids and painting with dixie bell take care everybody i hope you had fun today i know it was a short live but how fast was that project super fast right super fun super fast i will see you guys next week 3 p.m dixie bell paint page take care everybody bye